Hey guys, what's up? It's Luke here, and this is going to be my video explaining how I did construction on the King of the Skill servers. So you can see that on the picture on the screen that I actually ended up um, with rank 2 in construction. And if you want to see a video of me explaining how I think rank 1 cheated to get his rank, um, it's going to be in the description, but I don't want to go over that in this video. This is all about how I train my skills. So for a TLDR, since all these clips in the background are pretty self-explanatory, I want to talk about why my method worked and why it was so hard to set up and why I think nobody else actually, um, except for one other guy who was like on page two construction, su successfully set up this method. And that's that um, people aren't aware of the item called the Flamtar bracelet, which is a newer jade item that came out. And that allows you to build the temple with just one person at a low crafting level. Because of this item, I was able to successfully complete Shades of Morton on a low-level account, get a flam tar, um, get a flam tar bag, and do construction for about it was 0.10 to 0.12 GP per XP, which is um, one of the limiting factors for construction on King of the Skill. Is most of the other people that were competing were spending most of their time doing Agility Pyramid for about 2.7 to 3 mil GP. Well, I only had to do Agility, agility Pyramid for, uh, it was about 800k to 1 mil GP total. But anyways, let's get into the video. And you can see in the background that I'm buying silver bars first, and then I'm gonna kill cows. The silver bars are for making the flame tarp bracelets, and the cow hides are because I need approximately eight of them to get my crafting from level one to 10, so I can use the flax that I'm about to pick at the Gnome Stronghold. And for the flax, I'm going to need to pick, I think it's enough from level 1 to 27, so like 3 inventories of flax, or about like 65, so like 1.5 inventories. And um, then next, I'm going to be doing level 1 to 10 agility at the Gnome Stronghold. And this is so I can then go to Lumbridge, Suicide, complete Rune Mysteries, and then do level 10 to 30 at Draenor. Now you can see I'm killing the town market guards, and that's because I need to do level 25 magic to teleport to Varrock, and I didn't. I think I only got to like level 18 by the time I was in Draenor, just from like casting spells on random NPCs. And then next you're gonna see me doing level 30 to 50 agility, 30 to 40 agility at Varrock, and then starting the priest and peril quest. A very important part coming up is me panning, and this is so I can get jades really fast. You can see on this account I got to level 7 fishing, but on my main I only got to level 2 fishing and I got 3 jades and like 5 pans or it was like 7 pans maybe. It was extremely fast for um, I, I just got really good luck. And then um, you're going to see me mining the rune essence to complete priest and peril. And also I thought I'd edit in all of these um, these moments where I am casting fire strikes on random NPCs. But here's um, towards the end of Priest and Peril, and I needed to unlock Canifus so I could buy the three, what was it? There was three things I needed to do. I needed to get, well, one, I need to get the meat pies for completing the quest. That'll be useful for doing Shades of Morton. Then I need to get all the meats in the city. I need to train agility at the course here, and then I need to make all of my hides into soft leather so I can get level 1 to 10 crafting so I can use all my flax. Now you can see that I am also casting fire strikes on werewolves here, and this is just to help me get to level, I think it was level 25 to 37 magic, which I didn't exactly get there, but I needed to get to the Falador course so I could go from level 50 to 55 agility for the agility pyramid just to fail a little bit less. I thought it would be worth my time to, in the long run, make more money consistently there. And you can see I'm making my bowstrings get to level, I guess level 28 crafting, and that's because I got some extra opals on this account that I cut initially, um, um, it just gave me a little bit more crafting XP. And then you can see here I am making the flam tar bracelets and heading to the agility pyramid. Now here's a, uh, a long compilation of me collecting pyramids. And you can also see that I ran out of money before going to the pyramid, so I had to walk all the way there, so I lost a little bit. Of now in this section, I needed to make approximately, um, it didn't really matter how much money I needed, I just knew that I needed to end with at least level 67 agility and level 67 agility allows me to use the shortcut at the Mauritania um, temple and this would save me about two or three minutes and it just seemed useful to at least get level 67 on my main I think I got to like level 70 ish before I ran out of water skins so in the background you're gonna see that I just bought my house and there's three reasons why I need to do this now and get level 33 construction 
and that's because one i need my house in taverly so i can do the druidic ritual two is so i can put my house in pall of Beneach, and i can train the agility pyramid a little bit faster and there's also a food source near it which will be useful when i'm training construction and the third is that i need 33 construction to make a limestone fireplace which is going to help me after i beat the shades of morton quest to train my construction right off the bat so here you see me changing my house to taverly for 5k and then getting the items for Druidic Ritual out of my bank. And actually on this account, I, when I was casting Fire Strikes while I was walking, I actually used my one of my Law Runes, which meant I had to walk from Taverly to Varrock again. So you're going to see a large gap of time go away after I complete this quest. So, um, But it doesn't really matter because of my main account. I ended up messing up the temple building once, which took out like a 20 or 30 minute chunk of time from that account. So here's where things get complicated, and I'm probably going to be talking pretty fast, but to start off, I have to get all the items I need to complete the quest in my inventory, and then I have to walk there, and while I'm walking there, I have to get my combat level to level 31 through defensive firebolt casting to not aggro the snails, and then here I am using the shortcut to save myself about two or three minutes of time. Next, you're going to see that I'm going to be collecting the book to start the Shades of Morton quest, and then I'm going to be collecting from the table, which is going to get me two Terramins. Now, to do this quest, you only need to use five doses of the Ceramin 207 potion, and you're going to see that you get six potion, or is it, you get five, you get six doses and you only need to use five. So you have an extra dose, which I ended up using because I messed up on this account, and then you're going to have to kill the five shades. Now people are saying killing shades on a low level account is not possible. I'm going to show the safe spot to kill the lore shades in one of the houses where you can stack them all up outside. And this is um, one of the parts where you're going to see me drop a lot of my food and that's because I'm going to need a lot of inventory spaces to build the temple. Approximately 15 spaces or 11 spaces. I'm going to need five limestone bricks, five teak or what are they five of those timber logs and then 40 swamp paste here i am talking to him after getting the five and you can see that i actually forget to buy the flam tar hammer here so i have to go back and use one of my extra doses to buy this hammer and this is really important for the building process and then you're going to see me talk to the other npc to start the temple building and here i am starting the temple building you can see that it starts off a little rough i'm getting attacked a bit but that's okay. Um, it doesn't matter. As long as you keep building and move around, they'll unaggro off you because they'll start trying to take down the temple while you're building it. And you can see that I started at level 30 crafting. You can see in my chat box, the first level I got was level 31. And I only needed to get approximately, uh, was it five? So like, um, is it like 40% resources? And then the sanity or the salinity, whatever that thing is, um, this is where people um, can accuse me of using an alt and if you were to use an alt and then log in and try to build the temple you would need to um, well not build the temple but just light the temple and use the potion on it you would need approximately what is it like 80 percent salinity to do this you would need about 20 percent for the initial serum 208 potion and then for all of the olive oils that I have in my inventory, it's going to take about another 60%. So even if I were to use an alt, I would have to log in, sit here, and build the temple manually, and this would just take a long time to get my salinity up. So then you're going to see me completing the quest, and when you beat the quest, you want to get one bronze key, which I got um, from the lore shades, which will give you access to the catacombs. And then in the catacombs, you're going to see me using a safe spot, which is standing on this, um, this like, uh, grave. And you, as long as you're flicking the prayer, you can easily just kill them before the other one spawns and attacks you. And then what I'm going for here is I'm trying to get these steel keys, which will give you a chance of getting the flame tower bag. And you can see that I get it on the first kill, which on this account and the other account I got on the first kill. So first off, I want to talk about cheating, and there's two major factors. One is that if I didn't have the flam tar bracelets on this account, and I just um, went to the temple, I logged in and tried to light it, I would still need to get about 80% salinity to make all of my serum 208s and my sacred oil potions. Uh, second is I failed the temple on this account, and you can see by my timer, I'm about an hour and 40 minutes behind my other account. Even if I were to 
um, you know, take away about 20 minutes. I'd still be, you know, 18 hours, 30 minutes ish time that I would have um, come out of completing the temple. So now that I talked about all that, let's talk about the method that I did. In the background, you can see that I'm making limestone fireplaces, and I did this from level 33 to level, I think it was level 58 or 68 for the limestone attack pillars. But every login I would log in, I would buy 20 limestone, 40 limestone in one world. I would cut all them into limestone bricks, put them in my flam tar bag, and then I would hop and I'd buy 40 more limestones, cut them. And then I'd teleport to my house, I'd make all the attack pillars, and then I would log out. And this was about 16k per login, or approximately 500k to 488k XP per hour. So you can see about right now, I had to go back to the Agility Pyramid and grab my last stack of gold. And that was about a, about a 700k cash stack I needed, so it was, it was about like a mil, about 800k to a mil that I needed total in cash to complete this. And actually on my last run of, um, of construction, I logged in. I used my minigame teleport and I had one law rune left and I had almost exactly enough cash to buy my last limestone bricks. And then I logged out with one minute left on my timer. And you can see that I ended at about 7,138k XP. But this is gonna wrap up the video. Shout out to um, Solo Mission, Solus Adams, those two guys. I, I didn't talk to Solus Adams, but he, uh, he was talking to Solo Mission about trying to figure out my method, and I think he eventually figured it out. Shout out to uh, the Pikey Squad, Colton, Wes, Damon, Dreeks, Jordan, etc. All of you guys. I think I talked to you guys about the method, and y'all kept it on the on the down low for the entire month. So that was that was pretty cool. And uh, hopefully next time um, the competition goes a little more smooth. I'm not going to try in construction. I'm going to do something that's um, gonna only take me 24 hours instead of 150 hours but I like to see someone try this in the future and win with it because I know you could optimize this way more like you could you could complete the temple on the first time you could do the agility pyramid or maybe you know find a legitimate way to do Piero Piero to make your money and get this method up to about 8 mil con XP per hour or 8 mil con XP um, for the whole competition but anyways thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed